So, the son of Charles Dorian returns to us. Belek thought you wouldn't come, but changed your mind. I'm tired of running from my failures. Monsieur de la Serre, my father. I want to make it right. The death of Grandmaster de la Serre weighs on you. Why? Did you wield the blade yourself? Does it matter? The blame still lies with me. Inna the Nubahu took kilo kailai. Hal anta muta akidon min? Anna kathalik. Very well. Out of the dark you come into the light. From the light you will return to the dark. Are you prepared to travel the eagle's path? If that's a fancy way of asking do I want your help, yes. Then drink.
done enough to repay my father's kindness. Truly, truly Monsieur de la Serre will see it the instant. These are the words spoken by our ancestors, the words that lay at the heart of our creed. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Arno Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world, his sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. Welcome back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to pick up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We lifted a media file from Abdergo last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. 
If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the truth. Good choice. Welcome to the Assassins, Initiate. In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory in favor of the double helix. Today, we know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. So, this is where we stand. Last year, Abstergo acquired the body of a man we call a sage, one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient DNA. This sparked a search for more sages, in the present and in the past. The more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final goal. We've blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why Arno Dorian? Why chase an assassin through the French Revolution? It turns out, at some point in his life, Arnaud came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right. Loading the next sequence. I've got something else for you. The more time you spend with Arno, the more data we'll have to increase your synchronization with him and to activate his abilities. Here, have a look at this.
One last thing. While you've been busy, I had Deacon do some poking around in Arno's memories. Seems he was a busy guy. See that symbol? That's a co-op mission. I play a lot of games multiplayer. I don't know about you, but I thought you'd like to mix it up a little. These are missions Arno ran with his assassin buddies, so they'll give you an idea of what our organization's about. Just walk into the glitch and you'll get all the details. I've marked them on your map.
What's the mission? Mission? Let's get your arse in position. Don't ask questions, piss pop. I live to serve. Lovely disappearing trick.
Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. An act of desperation. What about the priest? He'll come around. <laughs> Your confidence is infectious, Sivert. My boys will have the wagon ready. Here are the details. Make sure it goes smoothly. Of course. Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. When have I... Murder! Murder! These bastards Help! always have bodyguards. Well... Next time, do that before he starts screaming. Why do we hang about here when Sivert still lives? He killed Monsieur de la Serre! Patience. Sivert is not the target. Not today. Come on. The house is waiting for us. That's a lot of You're mine, corpse. Imbeciles will pick a fight with anyone. Try not to draw their attention. Shouldn't we stop them? Stop them. Avoid them. Doesn't matter. There's always more fanatics. Can't save everyone, Piss Pop. Well, there's a cheery thought. not to strain your heart. Need a break? Need a break? Trying not to strain your heart. Careful, Pistol. You'll hurt someone. I can't 
believe this? We've not seen Seabear for a year, and you're letting him walk. All because his name wasn't on a bloody piece of paper. The timing's not right. What cheer, Arno? So what happens next? We take this ledger full of Templar records to Mirabeau. More Templars killed last night. It wasn't it. us. Templars have been don't killing each other like he was going out of fashion since 89. He's a, a politician. Civil war. Sees himself as a great Would peacemaker. Things or make our Thinks he can end the war between assassins and Templars. Bring the revolution to a happy conclusion. And convince dogs and cats to live together in peace. And that's bad? It's a self-aggrandizing pipe dream. The customs agents of France can rest easy. Arpinot's dead. Shaking down imprisoned nobles seems a bit out of his oeuvre. What are the Templars up to? If we hadn't spent the last year hobbled by your damn truce, we might know that. Here's a point, Honoré. The truce was with Grand Master de la Serre. The man's been dead for two years. Whoever's in charge now, you can be certain they aren't sitting idle. We might have learned more had we not allowed Sivere to escape. Sivere was there? I know your heart is set on keeping the peace, but bringing Monsieur de la Serre's killer to justice would count for something, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. But do not confuse your personal vendetta with a sound strategy. If he wants to kill Templars, let him kill Templars. I've done him all I can. Boys ready? Very well. Assassin. I charge you to go to Notre Dame de Paris and to find there the Templar agent, Charles Gabriel Siver. You will learn his secrets, and when you have done so, you will bring him peace in accordance with our tenets.